What's good in the hood, YouTube? This is Crazy Samurai Sunny One here bringing another video. Today I wanted to bring you episode 18's review of the Powerpuff Girls uh, 2016 TV show that's on Cartoon Network. Yeah, 18 now. Wow. Pretty big number of episodes. Um, so I wanted to obviously talk about this. Uh, it was actually a pretty interesting episode. I'll, I'll tell you this much right now. Um, the, the episode is entitled Man Up 2 still manning now for those that don't remember man up why does that sound familiar well the very first episode of the 2016 tv show uh actually had you know that as the title so they decided okay let's do a follow-up which a lot of episodes especially the ones that I, that have been coming out recently have kind of leaned towards that mo most likely having a follow-up episode at some point does that mean that we're guaranteed like very soon to get like a follow-up for the second episode maybe we'll have to wait and see you know a lot of this is up in the air right now but it's good to see that we're getting uh this follow-up uh as far as things go with this episode um it's an interesting one it starts off with the girls at like a river or whatever or like a bay or or something and they're all doing stuff uh bubbles is making a sand castle and blossom then puts down a sign that says like for rent or whatever like oh yeah you could buy it or whatever it's supposed to be like a house or whatever, or something like that and what happens is, is that they're all ha is that the two of them are happy uh and but then Bl um buttercup comes in and buttercup ends up uh, knocking the sandcastle over and you know bubbles is not happy i mean she doesn't cry but she's not happy and the reason why that why um buttercup is has a metal detector is because she's looking for a 1974 Doka Cola, obviously a a playoff of Coca Cola um, bottle cap that uh, apparently means something significant to her. So she's trying to find this special bottle cap or whatever with this metal detector. It's not just a metal detector; it's a heavy metal detector. And you may think to yourself, "What does that even mean?" Yeah, it basically means it's like the metal, like the bottom portion where like it detects things. It's like it it plays like a, uh, like a heavy metal guitar riff and everything, and like it, it's really hysterical. Like I love it. It's just so funny. If you ha if you haven't seen the episode, like totally watch just because of that. It's just it's so funny. I mean seriously, I was I was laughing so much at it because it's just like it's so like it works. It it's so brilliant. Um. So that all happened, and they're doing all that stuff, and you know she's obviously distracted. So eventually they realize, all right, well this is not working out. Uh, we might as well just go in the water, blo um, Blossom and Bubbles. So the two of them go in the water while Buttercup continues to look for her bottle cap. Well, they go in the water, they're having fun, they're enjoying themselves or whatever. And what happens is, is that um, you know suddenly all the water gets drained, and you know obviously they see it. But then the mayor comes, and the mayor's like, girls, the mayor, like, all the water everywhere has been drained. And, you know, we haven't seen the mayor in quite some time now. Uh, it's crazy to think that it really has been a while. And, uh, you know, he says, like, it's been drained. And suddenly he drops his towel, which is not good because he's, you know, he's basically bare naked and everything. So he's there, and he's staying there, and the girls are like, okay, mayor, we'll get on it. And they just kind of look away like, no, we're not going to do this. It's like, come on, Bubbles, let's go. And so um, they end up going, and they end up trying to get Buttercup to go with them, and she does. But the thing is that, again, she's still distracted. She's still focused on that bottle cap. So they end up trying to find out what exactly happened. They learn that apparently the source of this problem came from a drainage pipe that of the villain from that episode of the from that first episode um was known for which that villain is well he wasn't known for the the drain pipe but you know he was known for that episode uh and that villain is man boy um man boy if you're curious about who he is uh, again he was that character who had like the long beard and who was you know fairly short in size but uh you know was extra buff especially on his beard which is you know it's a cartoon so go go with it you know understand that's kind of what it's gonna be like so yeah um as far as things go there you know they obviously are are looking around and they find it out because you know he has his own label on it says man boy and everything and so the and bubbles doesn't even realize that like oh yeah they fought him and everything like she's just like oh yeah we fought him right 
but like Blossom has to explain it all. So that all ends up happening, and um, the thing is, is that uh, they end up looking, and they end up seeing. Following this, uh, Man Boy shows his own plans and everything. And he ends up talking, and we end up seeing him with his group of minions that he now has, which is interesting. Um, his and he has three different types. He has the hogs, on hogs, which are, as you may have guessed, like pigs on motorcycles so yeah it's supposed to be a play on that uh and then they have the logger jacks which is i love that um which is supposed to be like these humanoid like like these you know humanoid logs that like have a, like you know human like functionality like i mean they're living and you know they're supposed to be logger jacks which is like lumber like lumberjacks and it's very funny and they're supposed to be the lumberjack logs you know it, it's very clever and then the last one is one that's just kind of thrown there just to make you laugh which of course uh and that is like and they end up saying it like some british guys and the reason why they're there is that like oh they're good for like business stuff and they're gonna help out and all that and it's just kind of ridiculous um but it works um so all that's happening and eventually they end up going into uh, they, end, they end up looking to try to find um you know where um what do you call it where man boy was so they end up going together all three of them but Bu buttercup is focused on her bottle cap stuff and so the thing is is that buttercup ends up splitting from the girls she ends up going her own way while the other two end up going their way and the thing is that they don't even realize it the other thing to remember is that prior to that bubbles ends up making a perfect triangle party hat okay why does that matter well let's hold on so what happens is they split off as we said before and you know they're going together bubbles and butter and, and blossom and suddenly they end up being attacked by you know those three groups of uh, minions or whatever and they end up being captured by them so that ends up happening but then we go back to buttercup who uh, on her end she ends up finding the bottle cap which is very funny because what happens is that when she actually finds it not only does it detect that there's something there i mean she she tried she found something earlier in the episode which i forgot to mention which was that she found like a gold medal but she ends up but when she finds the thing that she is looking for not only does it like react like oh there's a metal presence there but like suddenly a skeletal spirit comes out and it's like yeah like, like, like he ends up rocking out like on on heavy heavy metal and all of that and basically getting into into the groove of like heavy metal rock, rock and everything and it's just like oh my god are you serious but it's so perfect it's like a little like uh, hologram of the skeleton it's just so perfect and so then she ends up finding the bottle cap and the bottle cap well at least in her mind she she's uh, she's uh, thinking to herself that she can talk to this bottle cap even though obviously that's not real but let's go with it so that's all happening and then, and so then she ends up going to look for her sisters because she realizes that she's split from the path well they end up finding well she ends up going to look for her sisters and she ends up finding a whole wreckage on the other path where her sisters were and she ends up seeing a bow and the perfect the, the perfect three-pointed party hat uh, so at that point, she ends up realizing that her sisters must be must have been captured, and that she she made the mistake of looking for a bottle cap when she should have stayed with her sisters and focused on them rather than focusing on this bottle cap that really should have been nothing. Well, she ends up then finding her sisters trapped uh, like trapped by um, by like a bear statue that holds them in each hand and you know holds them tight and then there's bear traps around them which is kind of pointless but they said like oh yeah it's just extra detail or whatever so then we see man boy who ends up circling around making a you know a perfect path that looks like him out of uh, grass out of the cut out grass that creates a path or whatever so then following this we ends up seeing her, um buttercup come in with like a, a whole metal thrasher kind of look and everything it's just kind of weird i don't understand i'm guessing it's just because they wanted to continue with like the theme of her in this episode even though it's sort of like she didn't need to change her clothing but eh you know so that ends up happening and then she ends up going and fighting man boy after he ends up transforming his lawnmower which he has which he used to trim everything um into some crazy like 
vehicle that he ends up having with all sorts of buttons and all sorts of things that he manages to like activate using his body gestures and his beard it's just like what's going on here it's weird so all that ends up happening and then eventually she uh buttercup ends up even trimming his beard with the um with one of the lawnmower blades and what happens is that she thinks oh that's the end of it well the thing is that for some reason you know, he ends up throwing a, uh, I think it's like a wrench or something like that, and it ends up breaking a pipe, which the pipe ends up creating mist, and she ends up saying, oh, you missed, and it's like, oh, wait, no, there's mist, because oh, there's, yeah, and so then what happens is that she ends up being punched by his beard again, because, you know, shaving his beard means nothing, because he can just grow it back in like a second, so that all ends up happening, and then eventually uh, she ends up beating up Man Boy, and saving her sisters and then rep and then they end up reporting back to the mayor when they report to the mayor he's grateful that that the water has returned and everything and again he by accident drops his towel and the girls are like okay yeah this is getting a little bit odd uh, <laughs> so all, all that ends up happening and overall it's a decent episode you know uh it's a pretty good one i did like the fact that they did bring back a character that was you know from that's a newer character that that's been in the show and was in the first episode it's also good because you know we're 18 episodes in and this is the first time that we're uh, an, um a character that we've seen already that's good it's not too early but it's not like super late either i mean if they like released it like towards the very end of the season which this is not the very end this is a little before the middle of the season um, then I'd be a little bit like worried about why they about their cho uh, choice but I think this is okay and I hope that they do more of these kind of follow-up episodes in the future it's just we have to wait and see what they're gonna do uh, anyway I hope you guys enjoy this video I'd love to know what your guys opinions are did you enjoy this video yourselves um, and also have you seen this episode and um, what was your favorite moment of this episode and um, what are you thinking of this and do you think that this follow-up was good and do you think that we're gonna have a lot of follow-ups or do you think we're gonna have only some here and there um what is your opinion about all that and more and uh i'll probably leave some questions below of course in the question time but you know you get the point so anyway um please remember to like comment subscribe and i'll see you guys next time so until then guys i'm crazy summer 71 and goodbye guys